So, in this video, we will guide you as you self-check on the possible reasons why people like you go broke and maybe you might even learn from your mistakes and avoid repeating them in the future. Always remember, to be finance savvy, financial intellect is your buddy, so what are you waiting for? Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be updated whenever we post a video. Now, let's get on with our self-reflection. Prepare your ears and open your mind as we go through every reason why you're always broke. You don't have clearly defined financial goals. To understand this, we need to first define your financial goals. Are you making money only to pay off your debts? Only to be able to apply for loans? Or are you making money for a greater purpose in life? Whatever your reason might be for working hard, you need to establish a definite destination or endpoint for your plans. I know you might recall the saying, it's about the journey, not the destination. But hear me out. How will you use your Google map when you don't know where you're headed? You have the tool and machinery, but you don't know what you're working towards. It's just that simple. Make a smart goal, one that is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. You might start with earning enough to support yourself as you pay off your bills, but it is not simply limited to that. You should also consider for how long and when you would like to be able to sufficiently support yourself even without your parents' financial support. Moreover, you should also remind yourself whether these goals are realistic and relevant to you. If your salary does not even cover almost half of your rent, then why choose to live alone? Once you've mastered applying these criteria in every financial decision, only then can you define your financial goals. You don't stick to your budget or you don't have one. According to a recent ING survey in 2019, 56% of Americans run out of money at the end of their pay month on a regular or semi-regular basis. And on top of that, research shows that up to 78% of people in Europe run out of money by payday and the majority of them wouldn't be able to afford an unexpected $1,000 emergency bill if needed. If you've ever wondered where all your money went at some point in your life, then maybe you are guilty of not having a budget or strictly following your budget. While there are numerous reasons that might lead to your financial struggles, making a budget and strictly sticking to it is a tried and tested strategy to regain control of your finances. Despite this, according to the US Bank, just 41% of American households adhere to a budget. To conquer this adversity, I recommend you to grab a pen and paper or open an online spreadsheet, recollect your thoughts, and identify your expenses one by one. List how much you spend for every category and see if you are willing to spend on it on a daily basis or you'd rather make a smarter decision of spending less and budgeting where your money will be going. This might seem to be a tiring task, but think of it as a fun activity that you can do with your family, friends, or even just by yourself. Challenge yourself to think of ways on how you can maintain a specific budget or go even under your set budget. You don't track your spending. Just as worse as not having a budget is not tracking where your money is going. If you do not have a habit of being mindful of where you spend your money, then my friend, you need to change your lifestyle. Download apps that will help you track where your finances went, are currently going, and will be going so that you can plot how much you'll be spending for every category. Budgeting and tracking come hand in hand. As you budget your finances, you should also log where it goes so you can closely monitor how much you waste on nonsensical expenditures or how much money you'll be able to save if only you make the right choices. You might also consider having a spreadsheet or even making graphs to visually represent the figures for every category of your expenditures. It gives you more pleasure and pressure at the same time when you're able to see whether your expenses are decreasing significantly or rising uncontrollably. You use too many forms of payment. Imagine a world where you don't have access to credit cards or the ability to borrow money. Everyone would have to pay in cash for anything they wanted. Can you imagine how much easier your finances would be if that were the case? The more loans and credit cards you add to your financial picture, the more confusing it becomes. 
you're spending on six different credit cards with various balances before you realize it, which will then lead you to pay for all of the purchases you carelessly made. And because each account has varying interest rates and updates you of transactions you made at different intervals, knowing exactly how much money you have and owe is quite difficult, don't you think so? Not only is this a clumsy way to use your money, or future money, but more importantly causes you to make poor decisions and bad spending habits. On the other hand, if you've strictly made purchases using cash or a single debit card, you can easily monitor the money you have left. This makes tracking your expenditures a lot easier and budgeting in general a lot more pleasurable. You carry credit card debt. If you still don't think that credit cards are bad news from the previous example, then maybe you need to be shaken up more. Hate to be the bringer of bad news, but yes, because of the higher interest rates, you'll actually pay more than what was initially required if only you used your debit card or your cash. Indeed, the interest rates are so high that unless you make a serious effort to pay them off, you may secure your whole lifespan paying for your credit card just to keep it. Credit card debt is the deadliest opponent of financial success and it's one of the primary causes of bankruptcy. So, to keep a long story short, don't even think about having one. Unless you want to be a borrower for the rest of your life. How devastating! You base your financial decision on cash flow. Basing your decision to buy something on whether or not you can afford the monthly payment should be a big no-no in your financial journey. Take, for example, you want to purchase a new laptop and you say to yourself that you earn enough to pay off the monthly installment. However, you fail to realize that you will easily go broke with that kind of mindset. Monthly installments will gradually exhaust your money and it's too late that you realize how you're bound to pay for months if not years. In order to avoid this problem, you should instead think to yourself that what you can't pay for completely right now, you still won't be able to afford in the future regardless of how much the monthly payment is. We're down to our last two, so here it goes! You don't prepare for emergencies. You are setting yourself up for financial disaster if you do not prepare for financial emergencies. And while medical emergencies are common, they aren't the sole danger. What happens if your vehicle breaks down? What if you're laid off? What if there comes another pandemic? To top it all off, the less prepared you are, the more emergency situations you will encounter. You don't invest consistently. If you've watched our previous videos, you'll realize by now that saving money will not make you rich in the long run. Instead, you should aim to constantly put your money to work for you. A significant difference between broke people and wealthy people is that broke people pay interest while wealthy people earn from interest. To keep a long story short, the two main ways to not go broke are keeping yourself free from any debt and learning about investments. To learn how to start investing and educate yourself more on the prospect of investments, you can watch our previous videos only in Financial Intellect. We bring you only the latest and most accurate tips and techniques and the know-hows of managing and doubling your finances. So what are you waiting for? Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell button under this video so you will get updates whenever we post another video that will surely help you in your financial journey. Feel free to comment down below any suggestions or questions and we'll be ready to respond to them. See you again in the next video.